Welcome to Live on the 802. We're here in the creative corner with artist Jim McGrath, who has a studio in downtown Wilmington. He's been a Vermont resident for 38 years, and we're super lucky to have him here today to talk about his creative process and his current technique. Jim, thank you for coming, and tell us what technique you're currently using. I'm very excited over the last few months, maybe six months, to be painting with palette knives only. and. Uh, these are some of my palette knives, as if in case I, nobody knows what these really are. And uh, I even make some <laughs> on my grinding wheel to get into the little places. So a palette knife, like with this painting right here, I can just take, I can put my blue in first and even my snow in. With a brush, I'd be blending these two together, but with a palette knife, I can just kind of, like frosting a cake, I can kind of just drift over and drift over and really create some really nice thing by building up texture and I still get my light shining behind the back. I love it and it's very impressionistic too. So if you look at one of my palette knife paintings, you'll see um, it's not as photo realist looking as you might think from a distance. So. Mm -hmm. I, I love I love what I'm getting into here, and pretty soon I'll be painting all, all all my large paintings even with palette knife because I enjoy what's happening. So, yeah, that's my excitement for now. You know, I'll go back to brush work like with like this. This is half brush here. You can see how smooth it is, and half palette knife. But I was just gonna ask if you integrated the two techniques. With this one yeah. I did, because this is a total different type of painting, uh, for sure. That's, a, that's like an old world feeling I'm trying to get on that, you know. What inspired you to change from paint brushes to knives? Did, was there an inspiration for that? Uh, yes, um, I, I had always used them to make like a heart. If you're doing a tree, you know, I can draw a line, a thin line, and then pull my paint onto it. And I noticed that, but does that mean one? No. Um, uh, <laughs> but I noticed uh, uh, what that gives me, and um, I really want less control in my painting, and palette knives give me less control than a brush. A brush, I can maybe get too close and try too hard to get what I want. The palette knife, a lot of spontaneous things happen. That's what I want. That's what I'm after, really. I think that's what all artists are after, you know, that surprise thing. Bob Ross used to call it a happy mistake, right? Right, a happy <laughs> mistake. Yeah. So, and they are too. A lot of times, there's something, something that's not planned is pretty cool. I think so. Um, that's why I'm liking the palette knife technique. Mm. And in terms of art, are you into the creative process the most, or the inspiration? Do you look at something, and is what's your favorite part of the creative process? The, my favorite part is seeing contrast outside. When you're walking in the woods and you see a light around the path, around the corner, what is that? You know, that's what gets me. What is around that corner? I used to w keep walking thinking there's going to be more surprises around and then I'd lose the, because you can't go back and get that surprise. Well, you've, cer <laughs> you've certainly found it. Jim, thank you for coming today. Make sure to check out Jim's studio in downtown Wilmington, his gallery. He's always painting in the studio, so make sure you say hi. Uh, visit his Facebook site, his website, or follow him on social media. Jim, thank you again for coming. Nice to have you today. Stay tuned. More to come live on the 802.